Well, good morning again, everybody. This is Lynn Gardner. Welcome to the Team Excellence Call. So great to have you guys with us. And I, I just love that chatter. I was sharing again how I kind of feel like I'm out here on an island. I love the visiting before the call, and then I close you out, and it gets quiet. And and uh, but it's it's so good to be with you today. And you know, we were talking about the weather, uh, Virginia. We have unseasonably warm days right now. It's it's probably mid to high 60s, something like that. Not a cloud in the sky. It's just in a remarkable day. And of course, some of you out there in California can brag about that all the time but it's a real big deal for us in Virginia and you know I was thinking this morning it just seems so unfair that the older I get the faster life slips by I mean what happened how'd that happen you know when you're young you're like oh, I can't wait till I can drive and I can date and I can do all these things and then you get into this season in life and you're like holy moly it seems like just yesterday that I was you know cracking a whip saying don't slow down it's the end of the year and, and here we are facing it again it's unbelievable isn't it how fast time flies but you know you guys know that something inspires me every week you know this this week it's the fall season of life you know because it is the fall and and, and are you prepared it's the fall season are you prepared you know in, in Virginia and a lot of other places I'm sure that are tuned in today you know we know that it's time to prepare for the winter there's no way around it. The winter's going to come whether we want it or not. And, you know, we have to do things like to be sure our heat systems are working and, and we go get our winter clothes out, our coats and our hats and our gloves and, and all those things that will help us to be prepared for the cold. You know, I'm facing the fall and knowing that winter is just around the corner calls for preparation. There's no way around it. If we don't prepare, we're left out in the cold. And so would it make any common sense to face the cold season without doing whatever we can to prepare? And I hope your answer is no. And so, you know, there's a, humans are the only one of God's creation that has an intellect. You know, think about it. I, it. No matter how smart you think your dog or cat is or whatever other kind of critter you might have in your life, you know, you might think they're the smartest wit, but they don't have wisdom or the ability to reason. Only we do. And yet they intuitively know how to prepare for what's coming. You know, we intuitively know that if we don't prepare, we'll face the threat of the cold. But do we understand that if we don't prepare for our financial future, the fall season in life, if you will, that we'll face the consequences of that too? And we like to, you know, kind of bury that in, in the dirt. You know, but in my world, and perhaps it's company-wide, I don't know. I just know in my world, most people um, that are introduced, you know, into my world in this business are in the fall season of their life. You know, I guess we attract those people, you know, of our, our same demographic. And many, in fact, probably most of them lost a lot when the economy shifted. I mean, their whole lives changed. You know, people lost jobs and homes and hope and future, everything. They, they had to really pretty much start all over in the fall season of their life. That's a scary proposition, you know. Some of them embrace the idea that they'll, you know, that they have a, a, a good venue here, a good platform, if you will, to rebuild their wealth in, in less time than it would take working in nine to five. But unfortunately, I see, though, that most people I work with understand they found the right avenue. They, they get that part. They aren't working as if the winter is just around the corner. They're not preparing for that winter. And if they aren't careful, they're going to get left out in the cold, too. You know, I'm, I'm overjoyed to see so many young people getting on board with our mission. I mean, I just keep looking for young people. I need to get one young person to start recruiting those young people. But I'm so excited about it for lots and lots of reasons, you know. Many of them see the opportunity, and some of them are working really hard to get there. Some of them, you know, have a long way to go in terms of understanding the realities of work and how, how much effort it's going to take. But, but, but mo many of them see the opportunity of grabbing on, you know, and holding on tight. But so, how sad it is for me to see so many young people that have no concept of the winter. And I do know that part of that is an age thing, but another part of that is really, um, you know, a habit thing, a lifestyle thing, if you will. They're recklessly spending money as fast as they can make it, or even faster, unfortunately, with no concept of a time when the cold's going to come. And really, that's up to those of us in the fall season of life to try to get them to embrace that, you know, like it or not, or hopefully, we'll all live to be an old age, and, and we all need to prepare for our futures. It's not going to happen without that you know and so we see so many young people coming in and so many that we can touch um, as we share with them the need to prepare you know I was talking to somebody the other day that shared with me that one of their relatives was spending it's a couple you know uh, spending $12 a day at Starbucks now come on guys 
$12 a day at Starbucks? For heaven's sake, what could you accomplish in life if you just were able to reduce that bad habit? So we do have an opportunity in our world to be able to change lives in many ways. And it's not just preparing for the winter for those of us in the fall season, but it's also for everybody out there, you know, the, starting with the young people and moving on up. You know, it's human nature. Uh, unlike that, the beast that naturally knows where to get the reserves for the winter, when humans don't know what to do, or we don't understand why we should be doing it, you know what we do? We do nothing. We just sit there. You know, we sometimes, uh, you know, we don't know that we need to prepare for the winter. We don't have that understanding of it. Sometimes we've lost our hope, and, and we need to have that restored. But sometimes we do nothing because of fear. You know, and frankly, guys, that's where the intellect kicks in. You know, animals go out fearlessly looking for their stock for the winter or whatever they do to prepare. But, you know, humans, because we have that intellect, that's where that kicks in. We'll overthink our circumstances. We rationalize everything. We make excuses for everything. We work against our own thought process, and we end up doing nothing. And sometimes we do nothing because of lack of confidence. We know lack of confidence can be built up in a lot of different ways. You know, for, for the most part, a lot of people, their, their confidence that's lacking is confidence in what we do. You know, so that's an easy fix. You know, many of you are plugged on today. A lot of people choose not to be. Uh, you know, some of us just look out, you know, for any piece of knowledge and learning about our industry that we can have. We put in the time and we put in the effort to prepare for our future. But some people just lack confidence because they don't put in the effort. And sometimes we do nothing because we're waiting for somebody else to tell us what to do. You know, and I don't say that in any kind of derogatory sense, but a lot of people have spent a lot of years working for somebody else. And, and when they get into this world of working for themselves, they don't know what to do. They're just waiting for somebody else to kind of push them in the right direction, tell them what to do. But guys, you're in business for yourself. And you've got to kick that intellect in, and you've got to have the burn in your belly for that future of yours, and you've got to tell yourself what to do. And if you're lacking and what you know, don't understand what that means, then you go to somebody who knows. And so humble yourself and you know, swallow that pride a little bit and ask people what you should be doing to take action to prepare for your future. But doing nothing is never an option in life. But you know, for us, because we have that intellect, we have resources that our furry friends don't have, we tap into emotions and intellect. It's not just the intellect part. You know, the emotional part is what we talk about. And we say, what's your why? Why are you doing this? Why are you getting out of bed? Why are you working so hard? What is that burn in your belly? That's the emotional side. And so in order to prepare, we must tap in to our emotions right along with our intellect. You know, if I have a cold house, guys, and I got no coat, no gloves, it's the middle of winter, the snow's falling, you can bank on one thing, I'm going to be emotional, and I will use my intellect to figure things out. That's where instincts kick in. But if I ponder my future, if I look out into the older years, I have my tail kicked like right along with a lot of other people. If I look out there in my older years, you know, and I think about, you know, possibility of not having enough money to take care of myself or reserves to last me a lifetime, I get sick to my stomach and my emotions and my intellect kick in. That's not acceptable to me. I refuse to accept that kind of future. And this is what sets us apart from our furry friends. You know, everybody, everywhere, everything, every creature needs to prepare for the future. But unfortunately, we're surrounded by people that have either forgotten that or they don't understand that. They're just living in the moment and they're not preparing. But unless you feel what's possible for you, Unless you put your intellect into making it happen, you're going to be just like the squirrel that forgot to prepare for the winter. Didn't go looking for nuts and didn't bury them along. You know, they have no reserves for the winter time, and you won't survive any, any, any better than they will. You've got to look at your future and run hard. And so let's, let's look at this. What does that emotional side look, at, look like? So, you know, let me paint a picture for you. If you really, really wanted to travel to California, you, you know, this was a, you dreamed about a road trip your entire life. You, you've now put it on, quote, unquote, your bucket list. You have wanted to go out there. You wanted to tour California. This has been something you've always wanted to do. Your emotions are kicked in, but you need your intellect, too, in order to make it happen. It's not just going to happen because you dream about it. No more than anything in our business or our why is not going to happen unless you get the intellect in there and you make it happen. And certainly, you wouldn't head out, you know, for instance, from the East Coast to the West Coast without a map or a plan or a timeline or something. I mean, I'm not getting in my car here and trying to drive out and know which way to go, and even a compass would tell me that. But unless I have a plan and a map and, and my journey, it's not going to happen. 
You know, if you don't make sure to have these things in place, you would never go. You know that? Your fear would kick in. Your doubt would kick in. Your insecurity would kick in. And it simply wouldn't happen. You know what? It's no different with your business. You know, you've got to have that excitement, that place you want to go, that quote-unquote bucket list within you that makes you roll out of bed, jump out of bed, and want to do what you do. But you know, you've got to get that intellect to kick in or it's not going to happen. The idea of the trip in this case would be so overwhelming because you don't know what direction to go in or how you're going to get there. And the same is true for our business. Some people, unless you're putting in the time and the effort, or you're using your intellect to figure out what tools you need and what action you need to be taking, you're going to get overwhelmed too. And you're no different in this case. So you would ultimately lose out on something really big in that case with your dream trip. It's something that you really, really wanted to do for all of your life unless you did something to make it happen. Having a dream is just a part of the vision, guys. Having the dream, you, then you've got to kick in to the intellect. But you know, your intellect can be your worst enemy, can it? Your intellect, when it kicks in and starts telling you, you can't do it, you won't do it, you can't know how to do it, you got all these excuses when your intellect kicks in. But everything we accomplish in life begins with that vision. You know, that's where we tap our emotions, and it, but it requires that action. And that's where we tap our intellect. All action is based on motivation. You know, for the animal kingdom, they're motivated by the idea that they'll starve to death in the middle of the winter. What motivates you? You know, if you've lost your way, if you've lost, you know, the economy, by the way, nobody got out of that scot-free, okay? I mean, even wealthy people lost millions. They may not have hurt like you are, but nobody got out of that, you know? And, and, and we're still, frankly, in the middle of a challenge. But the, the interesting thing is, for me, is to know with absolute certainty that we have something that we can do to recover that in less time than it would take in working a job. We need to set out to learn something, you know, and, and to grow something in our lives that will take us intellectually, emotionally, financially, every, in every way toward that future that we want. We cannot continue to be like the squirrel not preparing for the winter. When we set out, for instance, to learn something new for our job, you know, we're motivated by the idea that we might get a promotion or a raise. You know, while sometimes we get surprised in life, you know, we're never surprised when it comes to accomplishments because we have, have what that drive to achieve the um, accomplishments on our own efforts. It never surprises us when we put that out there. So are we putting that out there for our business? Are we preparing for the fall season in life? You know, only you could answer that. So sometimes I start, I think, you know, it's, it's not only the why, but maybe it's the what. So, so often we set out to accomplish success, but if we don't understand what to do next or, or we refuse to take those steps, we won't accomplish those things emotionally and or intellectually. We just won't. You know, so many people are, again, the intellect gets in our own way. The intellect is what fuels the fear. The intellect is what also fuels the pride. This says, no, no, I'm not going to do things that way. I'm going to do things my own way, you know. But we have a duplicatable system, an amazing business, an opportunity that just has no, you know, it's immeasurable, really. And yet, so many of us will let our intellect get in the way and refuse to do the things that are proven to work. You know, so if you're stalled out in your business, or if you're stalled out in your life, I have to question, is it really because of your why, or is it because of your what? You know, if you know why you're in the business, but you don't understand those steps, what steps to take, it still requires action. You know, I had to get to a place of humility. Believe me, I've confessed this so many times. I came into this industry first time in my, you know, for me in this industry. I came in with my accomplishments. I'm an accomplished businesswoman. I'm an intelligent woman. I came in with all this nonsense that had absolutely no role in what I was doing. And so I thwarted my growth. And I thwarted it until I could surrender my pride and surrender my arrogance and say, I know a whole lot about a whole lot of stuff in life, but I don't know anything about this. And I surrendered myself. You you know, to other people to say, what should I do? What direction should I be taking? That takes humility, guys, and you can't walk around with your pride and your intellect and fight against a system that's already proven to work. So, you know, if you know your why, do you understand what your your what? <laughs> you know, what steps to take and that it still requires action. And so, you know, it's easy for all of us to make excuses about, you know, why we are, why we aren't accomplishing what we set out to do, but the future remains the same for all of us. The fall is here. The winter's coming. And, you know, unless we do something to change things in our lives, for many of us, we're going to be caught unprepared. You know, so it starts with your own evaluation, really. 
you know, looking inside yourself and, and taking responsibility is something most people run from. But again, when you do, it's that intellect that kicks in, that kicks in the pride, that kicks in the arrogance, and it makes you refuse to look at yourself from the inside out and to take responsibility for what you need to do to change your world. So are you bold enough to evaluate you? You know, only you can answer that. You know, do you struggle with fear? You know, what's your fear based on? You've got to figure that out. You know, what's in your way? You know, again, we can learn a lot from the animal kingdom. I mean, you can see a squirrel crazy out there looking for nuts, doesn't look out for the cars or the other threats to them at all. They're busy trying to store up for the winter. What's your fear based on? Are you afraid of failure? Or maybe you're afraid of success. You know, so where does that stem from? You've got to figure that out. But I can tell you, whatever it is, if you've got your why and you can't figure out what steps to take, you need to kick your intellect in and start asking for some answers. So you see, we've all got to prepare. The winter is a beautiful time, isn't it? It really is. It's a beautiful time in Virginia. It's a beautiful time in Montana. It's a beautiful time all over the world, really. You know, but we've got to prepare for it. So after you, you know, determine what's really behind your lack of process, or it's progress, excuse me, you have to decide if you want the help or not. You have to decide, do I want to move forward or not? Do I want to prepare? You know, I, I am so thankful that, you know, the, the when came out of my sales with the economy after I'd finished raising my kids, you know. I mean, I had dreams and hopes for them, obviously. I, I wanted them all to go to college. I didn't have the benefit of going to college. I wanted them to all go to college. And by the grace of God, everybody that wanted to go, at least three out of the four went to college and one went in the military, you know. But, but to, to be a parent and look at, you know, maybe you're a younger parent. You're looking at a fall season when you're going to have to really step it up. I'm talking to lots of families where the state at home mom is now going back to the workplace to help fund that college you know but you know you can't get there unless you prepare for it you know and how do you prepare for it you look for a vehicle like we have you look for an opportunity to grow you look you surrender your own stubbornness and your arrogance you kick into your intellect and you dig deep with that why that's what's going to make it happen so we all have an amazing journey here so are you preparing for the fall you know again only you could answer that I am I'm excited about my future I know that I have a, a bright future. I know that I won't have to worry about reserves in my future. And it's not because somebody's handing it to me. It's because I'm working for it. I have my emotions and my intellect kicked in to prepare for the fall and the winter seasons of my life. And I hope you do too. So I hope this message has resonated with you, that you got a nugget or two uh, for yourself and your business. I pray that you enjoy this beautiful fall day wherever you are. I'll see you guys at the top. And I'll definitely see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.